and welcome to Trains Are Fun. I am so happy to show you something we got in the mail today. I want to thank one of our viewers for sending this to me, Charles. Thank you, Charles. Thank Charles for sending this to me, something I missed out finding on eBay, but he said he wanted to send this. So let's see what it is. As by the title, you can probably tell. He's wrapped it up very, very well. Whoa! Look at that. That is beautiful. Wow. You know what it is? So we have the diecast Ertl Murdoch. Oh, it just looks really good. Let's see the bottom of it here. Ertl. So this one is really really hard to find there's not a lot of them up out for sale on ebay and he said he had extra and he would be happy to send me one and this looks better it's in better condition than the ones that i looked at on um, ebay that i tried to win and um, it's got a little ding there on the front coupler but it's still pretty awesome um die cast as really really <laughs> nice of him to send this murdoch awesome all right so let's do an update to all of the versions of murdoch that i have all right so the very first murdoch i got well i can't remember which one was the first but one of the earliest ones i got was actually the oo scale hornby murdoch still that and this is what made me I mean, this is such a beautiful uh, locomotive, and I've actually taken it in and out of the box so much that I've broken one of the wires. I'm going to have to fix it. It still runs, but um, one of the wires that connects to the, the tender broke. And here is another early one that I had, the Tomy one. Yeah, Tomy. And that one's tender driven. Let's see, I'm trying to put them in order of size. Next up, we have the Wooden Murdoch, Thomas Wooden Railway Murdoch, and it is, um, I actually got this one two different, I got the tender in one auction and the locomotive in another. This, I think this, I forgot what that was called, somebody remind me, it's just the solid piece, this one's all plastic, it's not nearly as nice as the um, Ertl one there. And then we have the Take and Play Murdoch. And lastly, do I got enough room? The Wind Up Gashapon Murdoch. All right, so that is my Murdoch collection. I got seven now. It's pretty good. If I left anything out, please let me know. I'm pretty sure this is it. I don't think I got anything else. <laughs> but um, really cool. That I'm really glad to get the die. The Ertl. Ertl was such a good toy, even though, you know, the locomotive and the tender are stuck together like that. The Ertl models are still uh, among some of the, the best quality out there. I think playability, the wooden is good. This Tomy one, I don't like the way it performs. This is still, the OO scale is one of my most beautiful uh, model locomotives that we have. This is probably the dinkiest Murdoch I have. Love the wind-ups. Wind-ups are always fun even though they don't have the right wheel basis for them. And then it's also wrong wheel basis on that take and play there. But anyway, tell me what you think. And we're going to be doing more collection videos like this. I get a lot of suggestions um, for, for different characters and we'll try to do some of those coming up. And Again, as I mentioned in a previous video, there are certain things I am looking for. I'm looking for Gordon from the dark blue track era of Tomy. And that was probably one of the main, <laughs> main things I'm looking for. Any of the dark blue era track train sets, if you see those, let me know. We got another special video coming up for, for some stuff that we got from the UK. Why does all the good stuff come from the UK? Why is that? Oh, that's where Thomas is from. Anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Trains are fun. Don't forget to subscribe.